Hey guys and welcome to the first video of 2017 and also the first 360 video here on the channel. Uh, now this video will have two purposes, uh, one of which is to show you guys and also to me uh, how this 360 video uh, looks like after we record it and after we edit. And the second purpose is also to quickly uh, tell you that I am definitely here on the new location uh, and just a quick update on my uh, office tour or office setup to be more precise, which the quick update is that I haven't changed uh, much uh, in these past months, um, except we did the location itself. Uh, feel free to look around on this uh, particular video. Now, if you are hearing me but you are not watching me, I apologize for that. I'm a beginner on 360 videos as well, uh, so probably I did not place the camera uh, correctly. But with the mouse you can drag it there on YouTube, or if you are using your phone or your tablet, you can drag it with your uh, mouse. Now, that being said, I've uh, recorded a video earlier uh, with this um, 360 camera, which is the Gigabyte Jolt uh, Dual 360 camera, if I haven't said that before. And um, what I can see is that at the middle of the uh, image we can see a little stitch, but as I can see you know, for what I have researched, this is uh, normal at this time for this type of camera. Now also this is a camera that has a very wide angle lens so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut for just a few seconds and I'm going to place the tripod uh, right next uh, to my desk so that you guys can have a better look uh, of what I see uh, when I'm working here on my desk so just a few seconds okay guys so I lowered down uh, a little bit the uh, camera um, or the tripod to be more precise and I placed the camera roughly uh, about the height that I usually sit. Now, um, I'm, I placed myself, of course, in the back of the camera, so if you're not uh, watching me, um, well, I'm not the point of interest uh, at this moment, the screens are on my setup is, but feel free once again to, to uh, drag with your finger to see the image quality and also the uh, sound quality. By the way, talking about sound, I still have a lot of echo here on this room, so I apologize for that. Um, and also, I would like to mention something that I did not uh, told you at the uh, on the first clip, which is this is a temporary space. Now, the house. I'm not thinking about moving again uh, anytime soon. There were two moves this year. But we do have a lot more space on this house, so I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, my setup here, which hasn't changed. Then I'm going to take you upstairs to a little uh, room uh, that we have extra for. Uh, well, I'll show you in a few seconds. And also I'm going to take you to the basement, which is where my uh, future office will be. Now, future, I'm talking about six months, one year, one year and a half. I'm not sure. Uh, there will be a lot of investments and a lot of hard work, so it will take time and money, and for that I need to work a lot, as they do, and so on and so forth. But I'm trying around. The interest of the video is, besides the quality, of course, the setup. So hopefully you guys can check out uh, the feeling that I have, which is nothing special when I'm sitting uh, there on my desk. Now I do enjoy playing around with three uh, displays, as you can see. Um, I want to upgrade with two uh, new LG, uh, like this one here, which is the LG 27 U, uh, UD68W. Uh, I will see when. Uh, I'm also inclined, as I said on the review, for the Dell uh, six, uh, UP1627 16D uh, IPS panel Quad HD. Uh, so I'm not really sure yet which way to go. Let's see. But uh, regarding the setup, as I was saying, the only thing that uh, changed drastically it is my eGPU that is working here. I talked about it on the last uh, video. I will do a full tutorial about that uh, using the Akitu uh, Thunder 2 enclosure, which is great. Now, uh, on my setup, also uh, a few days ago. Uh, well, I do get that question a lot. Uh, my sound system is uh, on 5.1 speakers and I must say that it worked fine until last month. Uh, the subwoofer and the amplifier just went dead. So at this moment I'm only using the speakers because they are white and they match my, uh, they match my setup. But I'm using, a, as you can see here, an LG, a very old LG um, home cinema that I have. 
So this uh, amplifies the sound and then distributes to the uh, speakers. Now, uh, very quickly, because I don't want this video too long, here on the right side I've got all my storage area and networking uh, as well. Uh, for those of you that follow the channel, uh, and of course I've got all the uh, things from the, uh, from the 360 uh, Jolt Do camera here, the accessories and so on and so forth, um, but for those of you that followed the channel for a long time, uh, you know that I used to have my kid's computer right over here and my wife's computer next to it. Now that has passed to that uh, uh, space that I've got on the first floor. We are on the ground floor, by the way, uh, but I will show you how, uh, why we decided, and I will explain a little bit more why we decided to uh, separate things, well, especially because we have space now, but basically the, that uh, the drastic change. I removed two computers from here. This is all space for storage and for testing stuff for myself and so on. Uh, on my left side I also have, well, as I did before, a shelf with my Amarum light, uh, everything that's uh, pending review and testing and so on and so forth. My screen that I started using um, last year, this screen has about seven years or so. It is old, but it serves its purpose, which is to be connected to a Android TV box and my DSLR and uh, to record videos. Now back here I've got my softbox, I've got my um, uh, another camera connected right here. As you can see on the ceiling I've got one light, I'm considering to uh, place another one right over there on that side and uh, let's see how it goes and I have to eliminate this echo here. Now guys, uh, this was a very quick uh, um, look around. What I can say more, uh, I will, I'm sorry about this, I will bring the camera right over here so that you can see uh, the cable management right over here. Um, by the way, this is on purpose, and sorry if I just pass in front, this is um, working for the eGPU right now, and I need to switch on and off, so this is on purpose in terms of uh, cable management, but all the rest, as you can see, pretty clean, not 100% Perfect, but pretty clean. And guys, uh, this is basically it in terms of my uh, actual setup. And um, I will try not to forget to post the link on the YouTube cards. And as you can see, my cat Misha just woke up. <laughs> she was sleeping <laughs> on the UPS. Uh, but as I was saying, I will post the link on the YouTube card so that you guys can check uh, my uh, office setup with more detail with all the gadgets that I use and so forth and so on. Uh, a video that I, that I created about a year ago uh, and nothing has changed uh, for what I've seen, uh, for what I've said uh, before. Now guys, uh, I'm going to open the, the door for the cat <laughs> to leave and I will be back with you in just a few seconds on the uh, first floor so that I can explain a little bit uh, what I've got there. Okay guys, so here we are on the first floor. So the other office that you saw was on the ground floor, uh, it is a bedroom, uh, also this one is a bedroom but a small bedroom. By the way, this is a four bedroom house and a garage, a basement, etc. A lot of space so I cannot complain. Uh, but this just to explain that uh, our idea and um, future plan for this uh, particular small bedroom, uh, if I can say so, it has about 60, uh, not 16, 15 uh, square meters, uh, it is to be used as a office dash small media room dash relaxing place before going to bed uh, and I will explain this as quick as I can because uh, as I could, you can see I already have a few furniture there I've got three uh, chairs right over here um, one for my wife so that she can uh, work right over here and then uh, for my kids and for my um, second kid <laughs> this one, uh, which I will later on have to display for them and two mini computers so that they can do uh, whatever they want on their computers. Also this will be the space for homework for them and of course for my wife to uh, work on their Macs book which is not right over here but it will stay right over here with a connection uh, to the display over there and um, the idea of also is to have a a nice TV right over here, which will not be now. I'm expecting to purchase a 4K TV for the living room and the 1080 Full HD uh, TV that I've got there uh, in the future will come here and it will be more than enough. Uh, also a small couch which we will purchase, I don't know when, in a few months. <laughs> Money does not grow on trees. Uh, so that while my kids 
are doing their own work or whatever they are doing there uh, and my wife is working, I can, um, if possible, relax a little bit here uh, near to them before we go uh, to bed. Now this is also the place where my wife decides to place some books over there on the back if you can see and we've got a drawer here uh, with some uh, storage as well. I brought the lights if you are uh, wondering what is lightening the scene and I would like to take you a little bit uh, further here so that you can uh, take a better look at this shelf. It has our printer, documents, documents. Uh, this is where my wife uh, MacBook will stay. I've got all the connections here with a Minix um, adapter right over here uh, that has USB and it has power charging. Also HDMI that will go uh, through a cable right over there to that um, screen and then my wife will use this keyboard and the uh, uh, Apple keypad trackpad, sorry, to um, do whatever she does on her computer. Now the TV that you are watching there is the TV that I use uh, on my, uh, on some of my tests right over here. Um, this is a 22 inch TV, it will have to do uh, for a few months uh, if we want to watch, uh, but we don't have a couch so <laughs> I'm not thinking of watching too much TV. Uh, right over here. And this is it guys, this is the small office uh, that we have here and we decided to do this because my kids, uh, they cannot help, uh, they are kids, they want to play, they do noise, so I will be alone in the office so that I can uh, be more productive. When I finish up, then I will be uh, with them here, uh, upstairs, here or in the living room, or I don't know. Uh, depends on where they are, but this is the main idea, especially in the winter, instead of being in the living room, that we can uh, join here before going um, to bed. And that is it, now I'm going to join you before it's night, uh, in the basement, which will be the future office. Okay guys, and here we are finally at the basement. Now, as you can see, on your right side, um, I wanted to, uh, to come down daytime but it's now uh, nighttime unfortunately uh, we are in the winter and it's very quickly so you are not able to see the backyard uh, right over there but that is uh, the backyard and one of the things that uh, during daylight I got on this basement uh, is a lot of light as you can see on that window which is something that I will keep uh, not this window we will replace it by another one but um, this will be glass so I will have a lot of daylight coming in. Now this is uh, the basement and it's divided in two parts. I will show you the second part in just a few uh, moments. But one of the things that I would like to uh, mention so that you have an idea, I've got 35 uh, square meters right over here. One, once again, sorry about the echo because here it's even worse. I've got no furniture, only a whole couch uh, which my cat has been playing around in here. And um, one of the things that we are going to do here is drywall everywhere, fake ceiling and we are going to replace all this uh, floor and this was our initial plan but uh, we will need to fix the backyard first and, uh, and I'm not going to details, this is construction details so uh, let's forget about that but the point is if I would fix this uh, as an office right now uh, then the construction guys will need access through here uh, to bring all the debris and everything that they will to uh, place a new floor and etc. etc. that they would uh, ruin completely the office. So this will be the last thing uh, to be uh, room, uh, renewed, let's say like that. And the plan is uh, a new floor, a drywall and then a fake ceiling right over here. Now in terms of space, as you can see, it's more than I need for any uh, kind of office, but it will be great to have uh, different kind of uh, setups uh, right over here. Now guys, I'm going to take you to the other part of the office and I will talk a little bit uh, more right there. Okay guys, so here we are on the uh, second area of the office, if I can say so, the future of the office. This was uh, the area that we were uh, just before. Uh, it has 35 square meters as I said and this one has 25 square meters. Now the idea here is to do the same as we are going to do there. Um, New floor, drywall all the way, uh, and then the fake ceiling here. We are going to take down this part because we don't need the part downstairs. Uh, you can see also right over here, just out of curiosity, uh, we did not have access uh, to the basement uh, through the house, only outside. And when it's raining, like today, it's not good. Uh, so, this is something that we already did. We got the wall, well, not we, but we 
that was when I became a Mason Ace Pit um, right over here. Now we did discover during this process something really nice, which is that we still have, we have this wall, another 80 square meters that we can uh, use in the future. Uh, so that is a really good nice thing. So if in 10 or 20 years we want to use that for something, we will be able. At this moment, no, we will close once the uh, construction is finished. Now, just to give you a rough idea, besides the walls, floor and ceiling, and what we are going to do here is two storage areas, one right over there and the other one right over here, so that we can store boxes and things that we don't want on the, uh, on the house that we want to keep here on the basement. And also I'm planning to do on this space right over here uh, with that couch which will be Enjoy uh, myself in terms of movie series, etc., and also uh, test out and uh, pass to that side of the screen in a different uh, way. So, this is the idea for the office. Guys, uh, I wanted to keep this video short, but I'm sure that it will not be that short. Uh, hopefully, it will help in two ways, which is uh, as a separate video from this with nice camera, uh, 360, uh, the Joe, Gigabyte Joe 2 camera also so that you can have an idea how my office is right now and the future office will be uh, right over here. Now, unfortunately, uh, my plan was, well, not unfortunately, my plan was uh, to take the camera outside and uh, show you the beach or something else uh, interesting to, to show you uh, with daylight and so on and so forth, but it's raining uh, for a few days and as soon as the weather gets a little bit better, I will take the camera Because today, all the all uh, I could hold the images that I took was uh, were inside the house um, with a lot of echo. But that is it, guys. So hopefully this video will help you to decide if this camera is for you or not. My name is Dr. George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.